guys, I'm sure that a lot of us must have heard about the return of Queen Naomi to the palace. Uh, we learned that the elders of Akure, because she came from that region, from that state, and the elders quickly rallied around that, oh, this cannot happen. She has to go back. And remember, that was not the first time. This last one, she left the palace was not the first time she left the palace. I think that was the second time. So some people are not really too too keen because some people believe that uh, she will go back and exactly what some people predicted that she will go back but for her to go on social media to quickly go and make this announcement you know it's really baffling initially the office of the palace debunked it oh making excuses that she uh, can't must have been hacked of course which everybody knows quite rather that nothing of such happened she deliberately she did it by herself now that she has gone back to the palace a lot of people are now like what is wrong with this woman is she really an evangelist that she has to be taken to hospital that something must be wrong with this woman something must be wrong and who are the people advising her and according to what we heard her mother is a pa you know a lot of rumors here and there but in most of the places that she was going to before she left the palace her mother was always with her maybe that is why some people just assumed that her mother uh, is a pa if i thought that his mother is not even happy but what does it mean they don't have it that she does not have people to relate with and a lot of all these dirty things messy things that we are hearing that happened in the palace in this whole thing they all have their faults the king himself must put his house in order he must put his house out of social media we we had kings who have who were behaving themselves this is even if there's going to be modernization that tradition must be we're solid we still have a some monarchs some others and you know when people begin to make reference to responsible others with respect the the first person that comes to mind is Oba of Benin. you don't see him anyhow he does not go to anywhere anyhow but he's well read he's enlightened so are we going to say that uh, oh maybe it could be because of those kings or the others in those days because they were not exposed or they were illiterate or whatever no the ones we have now they are they are modernized as well we have a lot of worry a young man too but their affairs have not been on social media as in personal affairs like that apart from when it was he wanted to be installed of course you hear one or two things a, you know the palace is supposed to be a sacred place honestly and that's why you see these days that some people just wake up one day and begin to say, oh, we want to go to the upper palace, we want to go and destroy. They bond. We've, we've seen a lot of cases, just like the upper of Lagos. In those days, who born you? You dare not. You dare not go around the palace. You know, go feel come back now. But now, everything has been watered down. And some people are now saying, this woman must be taken back. It must be taken to the hospital. She must be hospitalized or she must be she must see a, a psychiatric because this is not it's abnormal of course you know quite a lot that people will not want to because it's it's it is an embarrassment to the to the king even if at all you still want to blame the king because he must have played some 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 games wrongly we have a bus now they have a numerous wives according to the woman she said religion or the wives that the other wives are not the issues but the man is a different person compared to what he presents himself to be in the public that one is neither here nor there but what people are now clamoring for that this woman must be taken to psychiatric because it's not a normal the so-called queen evangelist is not a true called evangelist of the bible maybe she's a traditional evangelist exactly you choose the right name traditional evangelist a good wife builds her home but a bad one pulls it down and the question people are asking now now that the elders have really come up with all this is or they've really intervened the issues that made her to write all those long epistles have as those issues have they been resolved will they not repeat themselves well maybe that should be one of the meeting they must have had before she could agree to come back before she could agree to come back because the same thing happened like I said before, the same thing happened in the first day uh, before she gave birth. So how were they able to resolve it that made her to go back? And they now say, Tade Nikawo, we should consider the king. That is the meaning of uh, the uh, a song. The meaning of that a song is that, you know, if not for anything, if not for anything, 
just think about the the kingship think about the throne leave the person involved but look at uh, the throne and that's why you see like uh, somebody like obasanjo when anytime he sees not even tinubu that is so arrogant so when obasanjo sees any traditional ruler no matter how how small you are he will prostrate he's not prostrating for that boy he's not portray portray uh, portray uh, uh, lying down for the so-called boy but because of the authority the, the person carries is what he prostrates uh, uh, for so all of this is must be put in proper pers perspective the whole thing is just you know the kingship is just like a uh, especially that uh, 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 oh, new office. we have all that small smaller who are not a uh, first class uh, obas we have smaller ones they are still they still maintain that their respect irrespective of anything but bone of, the bone of contention now is that what made her to go online if really you wanted to leave i think the first time she didn't even put it on instagram but for you to bring it on social media to write the whole thing meaning that you had already made up your mind and come what come me irrespective of anything you will never go back and the reason for the first one the reason why people did not even really take cognizance of that first incident was because Nobody came out to say anything. And I saw one of the interviews that the only granted. He was speaking in parables and he was like, mm, forget them. I know he was speaking with wisdom. He was diplomatic about it. That forget those who are making all this noise. That they just wanted to entertain themselves. But of course, it happened. You could not tell us that the woman's account, social media account was hacked. Of course, they just have to play, play cool, play safe. But the embarrassment is just there. So why would you go back? That is what we people are saying. Why would you go back when you need quite all right that? Or why would you go and write this old uh, piece to in social media and bring it as just like uh, everyday couples? Even some everyday couples cannot even do that. They can't even do that. Hmm. Well, the only should try and put his personal life out of the media. There's too much drama in the palace these days and is the only one that can put all this on it. May his reign be fruitful, long and bring blessings on his people. That's it. Only is destroying and disgracing the exalted throne if gradually or only of uh, the throne of Ife gradually through habits and life on social media. That reminds me, more me, the courageous queen of the blessed memory. Obviously, it is not an easy thing to suddenly announce one's exit from a purported long life marital commitment. But then, such decisions are made when an irreconcilable differences are seen. But now that the concerned elders have intervened and spoken, I hope both parties mend the necessary things with utmost respect for each other and continue to live in peace. May God bless the royal house with moral wisdom. So guys, let's hear your opinion. Do you think the woman needs to visit a psychiatric or to go to the hospital? Maybe because something is wrong somewhere. Because within the space of one week, and you, you took your time to write all of those things and don't you, you didn't think of even the idea that you always talk about that Tade Nikaru or Tade Nikawu or Karu, whichever one. So guys, leave your comment down there below and let's have your take.